Nick Rye here? Hola, amigo. It's Herc. What you up to? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm running some errands for the wife and kiddo. Cool, 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 cool. No doubt. So listen, man. Remember that time a couple of years back we got hammered off party liquor, spread eagle, and I made you promise that if I was ever seduced by a super hot, super intelligent being of dubious moral standing who whisked me away to an exotic land, well, that you'd come and help a brother out. Uh... Vaguely. Well, bro, sis, you better buckle up because that time has arrived. Oh, shit! Herc, I really don't have time for this. But, dude, you made a promise. Do you even know what a promise is? That's like a sacred pact, man. That no hey, man shit, man. Come on, get you, stupid right. gal. Herc, look, can whatever you need wait until tomorrow? I'm gonna go with the big N-O on that, compadre, because this is one of them uh, life or death things that I sometimes get myself into through no fault of my own. All right, fine. I'll help. Where do you need me to go? Uh, well, it's a little far. Don't worry. I can get you here in the jiffy. What the fuck does that mean? Herc? <laughs> what the? Look, just hold on and try not to vomit. Oh, and if you got a six-pack on you, go grab it now. Herc! What the hell is going on? Oh, no, 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 no! Whatever you're doing, stop! Fuck this! What the... Oh, you gotta be kidding me! situation is uh, rather dire but just head through the doors man I'll explain everything in a minute of these things. Sometimes you just find yourself, like, in a space station with little to no context or backstory. You just gotta fucking roll with it, man. So, less questions and more movement, Nicholas, because if you don't save us, we all gonna what? die. What? Me? What the fuck are you talking about? I swear to God, I'm gonna whoop your ass when I see you. <laughs> Good luck. I know what you're thinking. Where's my junk? But as important as the answer is to that question, we got bigger fish to fry. Firstly, let me explain what's going on. You are now on Mars. Welcome. Now, imagine my arms are outstretched to comfort you during said revelation. Why are you on Mars? To save the Earth, man. What from? An alien invasion. Yeah, that's right, man. An alien invasion, Migo. Now, I'm gonna keep it 100 with you. It's not going to be us who are doing the actual saving of Earth. It's going to be mostly Anne. That Anne. The AI super being that Larry Parker would not stop talking about, you remember? Only problem is, man, these aliens took over the entire planet. They messed with her network, man, and she has come undone. Now, we need to get her back, man. So how do we return Anne to this beautiful, majestic, Earth-saving butterfly she once was? By finding energy cores and using them to power up all the terminals in the network, man. It's a simple plan, don't worry. Gotta get moving though, man. There's a couple energy core thingies over yonder, man. I'll show you how this works. Go get them. Energy cores? Alien invasion? What the fuck, Kurt? I didn't ask for this. Look, I'm sorry, man, okay? But you're not the only person whose life has been turned upside down for far-fetched and highly suspect reasons, okay? I mean, look at me. If anyone's a victim here, it's me, the Herkster. Now, I don't want any part of this. I just want to go back to my family. No can do, amigo. 
We use that last bit of juice to get you up here. Besides, if you don't power up Ant's terminals, you won't have a family to go back to. all the way to Mars to turn the power back on? Well, don't say it like that, man. You take all the possession. Control center restored. It worked! See? Nick, this is Ann. Ann, meet my bro, Nick. Uh... Oh. Hi? Nicholas Rye, you are Earth's last hope. And me too, right? An arachnid force millions of years in the making threatens your world. But with your help, I can stop them. Yeah, Herc filled me in on that part. We turn on the terminals and restore your power and stop the alien invasion. Is there anything I'm missing here? No. Why do you ask? I don't know. Just seems pretty simple for something not so simple. You'd think there'd be more to it. No, it is very straightforward. <clears throat> Okay, man. All systems are a go. Let's get down to business. You're gonna need to be able to defend yourself out here. You see the green barrels around here? Grab what's inside them. Now, I know it just feels like space jizz or something, but this stuff is magic, Ego. Harvest is straight from the aliens. It makes all sorts of shit out here. When you're done, man, take some of your space jizz over that 3D print machine over there, and I'll show you a cool trick. Come on, man. Everyone likes magic. See how that works, man? Space jizz equals firearms. Incredible. Yes. And the more my systems are restored, the more tools I can provide to obliterate any and all life forms who stand in our way. Uh, what do you mean, all life forms? Oh, you'll see when we get outside. We? Yeah, man, I ain't gonna let you hog all the glory for saving the world. This here's a partnership. Now come on, grab my head, dude. You got work to do. Man, this is not happening. Get a grip, Nicholas, because your brain's about to go kablooey, man. functionality and help you on your journey. Oh shit, what was that? Relax, man. It's just Mars, you know. Wait, 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 man. Stay off that dirt. Space crab, man. Shoot it. Shoot it, please. Don't drop me, man. I'm defenseless. We can't find the other editor. Unless we power the antenna. Fuck me. I gotta climb towers now? Look, man, some stuff ain't as advanced out here as it is in Montana, for which I apologize, okay? My days of climbing shit was over after I left Kyrat, but here we are, man. I 
I thought my days of climbing shit was over after I left Kyrat, but here we are, man. I totally forgot to mention those space crabs. They live underground. That that one's on me, man. I'm, I'm so sorry. That's my bad. You're sorry? You want to tell me what that was all about? Man, ain't you ever seen Tremors? These space crab dudes, they tear through dirt the exact same way. I'm telling you, man. I hope you got a good look, man, because they're the invaders, okay? They're the ones we need to stop. Anne was telling me that they're going to use her technology to invade the Earth all the humans into food. Isn't that crazy? Exactly. Humans will become nothing more than food to sustain the arachnid horde as it spreads through the galaxy. Are you sure? Because, uh, I mean, they don't look all that smart to me. Well, they are. These little bastards, they've been playing keep away with the energy cores so Anne can't get back online. So if we're gonna get those energy cores back, you can bet that these little bastards are gonna be all in our face about it. Nick, thank you for your assistance. You may now consult your map to locate other energy cores in this area. Oh man, those two blips right there? That looks like the spot where I was attacked by a big ass space crab. I am picking up a signal from your gravity belt nearby. It will improve mobility, remove fall damage, and allow you to reach the transference center. No. No way, my space chest is still working, dude! No way, my space chest is still working, dude! Dude, my space jets are still working! Okay, let's go find them, man! Once you acquire the gravity belt, go to the transference center. What the hell's transference? Transference is the future. It's plugging my consciousness into a robot killing machine like I'm at 209. is the future. Yeah, yeah, we get it, Ann. Oh, man, she's been trying to make me forget about finding my human body, so I'll just live life in a robot body. But I got a good feeling, man. I'm staying positive. Please wait. Oh, dang, is that... Is that my hand? Well, who else's hand would it be, dummy? Point, man, I'm just not mentally prepared to accept the possibility that something really bad has happened to my childless dad bot. My scans indicate several more organic anomalies. Oh, come on, are you serious? My body's in a bunch of pieces? Oh, man, how are we gonna find them all? With transference, you will gain the ability to detect such anomalies yourself. Done and done. 
Here and now, another promise is made. We will find my body parts and put me back together like Humpty Dumpty, because there ain't no point in saving a world that does not include my beautiful booty. Unhappy you will comply. Transference is the future. Okay, just like Anne said. We need to find the space jets I was using. Can't get to the transference center without them. Watch your step, man, and remember, the sand is bad. Damn! Looks like the energy cores are up there. We need to find those space jets. Oh shit, that's my pelvic area! Big ass space crab did me dirty! Where's my junk? Nick! Nick! Where's my junk? Nick! You are lucky you've never had to go through this, man! Nick, I'm telling you, there is no worse feeling than thinking you found your dismembered member only to realize that you're pecking the pelvis? Come on, man! A little sympathy! We gotta find the rest of me, Nick. From my temples to my taint to my toes, man. All of me, okay? And then Anne can turn me into a real boy again. Herc, what you're saying isn't possible. No way, Jose. You shoot a big enough load of that space jizz in the Anne's 3D printer, and it's impossible. Nonsense, Herc. With transference, you'll become something greater than man. You will become immortal. Indestructible. You will be... perfect. While there is truth to that statement, I gotta be honest with you, I am on the temporary train for this one, Ann. I don't expect you to understand the joys of humanity, the pleasures of the flesh, the delights of the senses, the takings of a monstrous dumb. Center. Oh man, I'm starting to get real excited now. I cannot believe that in just a few minutes I'm gonna be a cold, uncaring, cybernetic death monster. It's gonna be sweet, man. It's gonna be sweet. Okay, the terminal is on the top floor. You gotta power that place up before we can use the transference chamber. You fly like the wind now, little monkey. Monkeys don't fly, Herc. Not with that attitude, they don't. Transference center restored. You can now use the transference chamber. The two...
working as a team will greatly increase our chances of success. Team Tad Bros for life! Put me in, dude! Put me in! anywhere. You're the reason my wiener's rolling around the sand somewhere looking like a gigantic breaded chicken cutlet. And don't forget to take my head. We'll need it to complete the awkward human puzzle I've become. Channel now. Don't mess up my goatee. some theme music. energy core. Let's head to the closest antenna. All right, buddy. Brace yourself. You're about to pop a bro boner here. Check it out. You bad boy Robocop here is fitted with a hole punch and lasers that these spacecraft don't stand no chance against. And this sexy, delicious rock hard body was built to last all kinds of physical and verbal abuse. We're linked up, man, so you can just tell me where to go and I'll follow, man. I won't even argue, like, ever. Unless you say something about monkeys. And if we find ourselves in a pickle and shit gets real intense, you just use me, man. I'll draw these suckers away with my jaw-dropping dance moves and such. Now, I know you're impressed with how impressive I've become, but don't let how impressive I am distract you from the fact that we gotta give our human compadres the heroes they deserve. We need to find more energy cores, man. I think there's another antenna nearby, so let's go. Herc, just how the hell did you get mixed up in all this? Man, that's not important. What is important is that you understand how much danger we're all in because I didn't, okay? I fucked up. I, I, I didn't really realize. I tried to impress him by taking care of this all myself and where to get me? Got my damn body snacks and sprinkle all the damn marks. It's probably my fault for telling her that I was Earth's greatest champion. I see that now, but come on, man. I was trying to get something. So all I'm trying to tell you, Nick, is that you can't be a dummy about this, okay? You can't be thinking you're some new hot kid on the block. You gotta stay humble, man. Stay focused. You gotta be smart, man, like old Hurricane. Do you hear yourself? I was dumb, Nick. I was dumb. Past tense. And for like a very short period of time, I'm talking 17 seconds max. And that's way less time than most people spend being dumb, which is a scientific fact. Which means that it is scientifically impossible for me to do anything dumb for like a long, long time, man. Like statistically, that's a fact. Right? 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 Nick? <sighs> Antenna. All right. 
right, man, same deal as last time. Get to the top and power that terminal. kind of deadly to me. Oh, just embrace it, man. See, it's a chance to test yourself and to test those space jets. Come on, man. Beware the stabilizer cores. Touching them will cause severe harm to any organic matter. Sucks for you, buddy, that you're made out of all that organicness. Too bad you don't have a sweet killer robot outfit like I do. Transference is the future. Robots never age, never decay, never rot. Robots are forever. Do you desire transference, Nick Rye? No, no. It's okay, I'm good. Grab some of them egg, man. The crab mode will come in handy. So what exactly is gonna happen once Ant's power is restored? As you restore power to my terminals, you will in turn help me regain control of my network. My robot army will power back on and assist you in fending off the arachnid horde. Wait, robot army? Once I regain full control, I will direct my robots to the launcher, where they will travel to Earth and intercept the arachnid invasion. Jesus. I know, man. It's gonna be awesome. Her. That sounds terrifying. the locations of your body parts to your map. Antenna C1 restored. Energy core locations updated. The punches in bunches! Thank <laughs> you. 
a reading now. Near that energy core, let's check it out, man. No stone left unturned, know what I mean? I gotta say, Ann, I'm touched. Cause I know you're not super on board with the idea of me being human again. I have had enough discussions with you, Herc, to know that appealing to you with logic and reason is pointless. Oh man, that is really nice of you to say. You really get me. Herc, shouldn't we be focusing on saving the world? Nick Rye is correct. But we are, I just want to take a peek, okay? a strong arachnid presence. A queen has laid her eggs here. Queen? Eggs? Remember what I said, amigo? Queen's gonna have that energy core with her, and we need to get it back. Killing her offspring will draw the queen out. Offspring? You mean, you mean babies, right? I don't want to kill babies. These ain't babies, okay? They're tiny little monsters, man. This is 100% guilt-free baby killing, man. Like, baby carrots or veal. Besides, it's the only way we can draw the queen out and get the energy core.
She's escaping! Killing other arachnids will anger her. She will return to protect them. Kill them spacecraft, man! <clears throat> right arm uh, wait what's this other thing exposing it to the arachnids will render them hostile toward one another so i throw this thing out and the space crabs fight each other and not me fighting over a woman's heart maybe we ain't so different after all herc these things want to eat every person on earth the universe works in mysterious ways nicholas terminal room lock disengaged you may now enter C1 restored. Systems now operating at 25%. Well done. My def defenses have grown, but we are still far from our goal. Man, I don't know how much more of this I can take. You can, and you will, Nick. There will be danger at every turn, but I will be there to guide you. Hello, and me! I'm now capable of updating your map with all antenna locations. Restoring them should be your first course of action when entering a new area. Go now, Nick. Free me from these wretched creatures. I believe in you. I'm right here! You will save the Earth. Oh, good idea! Okay, whatever! I'll just be the accessory, the ultimate killing machine, an accessory! Super good idea there. You heard the lady. Let's go, Mr. Soul Hero of Earth, who don't need my help whatsoever. Of course not. The world's our oyster, man. You just lead the way, and I guess I'll just follow along like a little toady helper boy. Herc, would you grow up? Sorry, man, I'm just normally okay with being ignored by overly hot women. Just not when it's because of my best friend.
approaching Robot Repair Center. So much for this place. See, Nick? We really do have to make me human again, because if I die as a robot, we can't bring me back to life no more. Well, the same damn thing applies to humans, huh? Yeah, for now, but in the future, who knows? Uh, nothing happened. The center's power nodes require repairs. A bot has been deployed. Call the repair bot! Protect the bot, man! The bot cannot engage in combat and conduct repairs at the same time. We got your back, little fella! Repair bots on the move! Things makes me nervous. It's, it's probably why I've never collected anything of value or fathered any children. Look out, man, there's more of them. One node remaining. Ahead. Watch out for the queen! notes from Larry Parker. Oh, so that's who I was talking about. No, she told me that, that she had another before me, but I didn't really want to hear about him. I, I'm, I'm the jealous type, so... Anyways, he was like a, a servant who helped her put together this whole place or something. I don't know. He sounded like a douchebag to me. Well, what happened to him? Who knows, man? And who gives a shit? I mean, who cares what Anne's ex-man is up to? I mean, really. Guy was a fucking egghead, okay? What do you think he's gonna be doing? Nothing cool, I can tell you that much. But if you're so curious, Nick, 
You can probably find lots of scribbly notes around here. We're gonna do it right. We're gonna get some proper tunes, man. I'm kind of crabby. Maybe you should take a dirt nap. The garden forever, man. These guys were my first roadie gig back in the 90s. Ah, oh, she got me. I can't fly, man. I'm in trouble. It was the no cardigans required tool, which was odd because back then everybody wore cardigans. Why, but I think I feel pain, man. I, yep. Yeah, I feel pain both emotional and physical. The band broke up during that tour and I learned a valuable lesson. Never invite your mom backstage. Oh, I I'm grounded. Oh, oh, this is it. Oh, in the sand. The sand, is it's cool. My mama ran a train on those guys and they got all depressed and whatnot. Said she made them feel used and objectified. Some people just aren't cut out for rock and roll, I guess.
idea. My bitches in here, man. Approaching antenna C2. Oh shit! Space bats! Don't get zapped, okay? You're gonna have to time your jumps, Migo! Stay away from them shocky things, man! Until the electric coils disappear! Look out, man! Those things are on the fritz! Nicholas, I've decided. I will be the godfather to your child. Uh, thanks, Herc. Uh, you know we didn't ask you to be, right? I know, I know. I just figured a situation like this is creating an even tighter bond than our already historic friendship. Yeah, I don't know. It's, uh, it's a lot of responsibility. And we already... Who's more responsible than me? Who is more responsible than me? Seriously? With great power comes great responsibility. You have seen my calves. They look like goddamn Christmas hams. I'm a very powerful man, which in turn makes me very responsible, Nicholas. That's not what that saying means. Come on, man. I look like a big old teddy bear. Them children love me. All right. Sure, buddy. I'll think about it. Thank you, Nicholas. All I ask is that, that my proposal is reviewed.
Antenna C2 restored. Energy core locations updated. Line it up. Pow! The great popper, man. You could take the nuts off a kitten from a hundred yards away with this bad boy. Everyone to blaze with a laser. You know, I was just thinking, and one of the thoughts that occurred to me was, if I could see underground, these little bastards wouldn't stand a chance. You see, I'd just be up here playing whack-a-mole with these big old hammers here. Just a thought for version 2.0, and that's uh, that's my, my fearless feedback, if you will, my two cents. Like, your robots need super x-ray vision, and night vision, and heat signature vision, infrared vision, television, long division, panavision, all the visions, man. And not just to see underground now that I think about it, uh, other stuff too. I'm, I'm not, 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 not gonna say what, but, uh, yeah, just, just make it so I can see through things, please. Anomaly detected. Whoa, hang on, pump the brakes. That gassy thing is not friendly, man. Oh man, these fumes, they fuck with your brain. Yeah, but I, I've been down that road before and I learned my lesson and I'm not doing it again. <laughs> Just saying. You've been warned. Man, when we get back, NASA will probably ask us all about our discoveries and whatnot, so we should collect samples and shit like that. Warning, Queen Arachnid nearby. Holy shamoly, Queenie, over there, buddy. Monsters of Rock come back to her. God, the pain! The robot pain! Help me! These guys partied hard, man, like too hard. You know what they used to do? They used to blow Blanco up each other's buttholes before shows. Singer said he did it to protect his voice, man, but I still couldn't figure out why the drummer was doing it that way. He's dying! They were pretty cool though, man. Even though they did, they did leave me stranded in Kyrat at a whorehouse with an unpaid tab. Just because I am a robot, it does not mean that I do not feel pain. Code Brown! Code Brown! I'm hit and I think I pooped! Oh! 
I'm down, man. Oh, I'm down. I don't know why, but I think I feel pain, man. I, yeah, yeah, I feel pain, both emotional and... Yeah. 